Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a quick look at the reconfigurable display on the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. The vehicle that we'll be using is a Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland Edition. So uh, let's get started. All right, to start off, we're going to use this uh, this uh, set of buttons here on the left-hand side of the steering wheel, and of course the display, which right now is black. But we're going to go ahead and turn the car on. It is a keyless enter and go system. So I've got the key fob and the cup holder. And basically, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake and press the start stop button. Alright, so this system isn't too much different from than from like the Ram and the Dart. Uh, it's just stylized for the Jeep. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have the TAC, which is a fixed display. And on the right hand side, we have your coolant temperature and your fuel level which those are fixed displays as well the center portion with the speedometer and the the uh, display quadrants on the sides that's a uh, thin film transistor uh, LCD display I'm gonna adjust this camera a little bit alrighty so let's go ahead and get started uh, the speedometer basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna follow the left and right so this these arrows here up and down that's up and down on your menu button here anytime you have a menu within a menu you can see the little arrows to the side and below there will be little dots um, that'll be using these buttons here to make a change you'll hit OK and you'll see when the system prompts you to do the OK alright so let's get started right now we have a speedometer it's an analog uh, you can change it over to a digital if you'd like we're gonna flip down so this will say press OK to change the kilometers per hour. And you can see your speedometer changes to a KPH. We're going to switch it back to miles per hour. So you can see the change here. Alright, this is vehicle information. Uh, it gives you, there are six different submenus. Your tire pressure, gives you your transmission temperature gauge, oil temperature, uh, oil pressure, your oil life, and your battery voltage. Alright, and this is your terrain, your select terrain uh, menu. Right now we're in automatic, but this will tell you your ride height. Right now we're at a normal ride height. However, on the dash, or on the console, these are your your ride heights here so we can uh, we can set those so right we're gonna put it in the lowest setting alright so now we're at entry exit level um, this will show your drivetrain uh, it'll show your the position that your wheels are turned so I want to turn the steering wheel and you can kinda see the little gauge shows you your wheel position and then here is your articulation so if you're off-road you can kind of see the uh, the level of what your wheels are and you can kind of see our wheels are a little bit articulated down uh, simply because our air suspension is in off-road too all right the next the next level is your fuel economy it shows you your uh, your current miles per gallon then your trip computers. You have trip A and trip B. Hold OK to reset your times and your averages. This is basically just repeats on your uh, 8.4 inch touchscreen, your audio settings, any kind of stored messages, and your setup screen. So the setup screen, we're going to enter in this. So in the upper left hand corner, uh, we can change the outside temperature. Uh, we can do time. You do our range, our fuel economy, our current fuel economy, our trip computers, or we can have none. Upper right, right now it's set to a compass, but if we want to go ahead and change it to our range, 
you can see it changes to the range. I'm going to switch it back. You can read store the to factory default. Show our current gear. If we select off, it just won't show us what gear we're in. We can show our gear display. Do single character or we can do the standard. Now we're back to our speedometer. We can change over from an analog to a digital. Alrighty, so in a nutshell, that's basically the reconfigurable display for the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, if you have any questions or would like to see more videos, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Post in the comments. I'm always willing and very happy to oblige any new kind of videos on how to uh, do anything. Uh, I like doing this. This is a lot of fun, so... And I hope, I hope it's fun for you to watch. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.